What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play Quantum Conundrum. So yeah, in the last episode we made our way to the library and... Well, let's see what we have going on here. I have access to slow-mo and heavy. Um... Bunch of lasers, there's a dolly over there and... Death over here and... Would you look at that? More death! Yes! Awesome! Cool, so let's stay away from those. Um... Let's see what these dollies actually do. Travel safely. Ho ho, you and your puns. Okay, so, um, what just happened? <laughs> let's do that again. Actually, you know, let's slow it down so I can see. Okay, boxes being thrown. Um, what did this one do? Um, oh, a safe. Alright, so I'm gonna jump on the safe. Do I want to grab these boxes, perhaps? Let's do that. Oh, there's plates over there. Okay, hang on. Let me... Oh, okay. This is really cool, actually. I have to throw What's the box. What's saying? Like... It's like wrangling cats. I have never heard a saying like that. But that's this is cool. I have to, like, fly and, and throw safes at the same time. Very nice. Um, oh, crap. I need to jump off here, don't I? And let's go. Sweet. So hopefully all those boxes landed up there. Nicely done. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. All right. So uh, let's get over there. And that should... Pretty much do it. That went that went rather well, actually. I'm surprised. Huh. Sweet. And there we go. I had this portrait of myself and Ike commissioned before we began time travel in the mid-70s. Ah, so you've deviled in time travel, my good sir. That's very interesting. I've always been a fan you of that. Know that the only legal way to hunt tigers is to travel back in time to do it. Not that I would recommend doing as such. Oh, yeah, no. Poaching tigers, man, that's messed up. I would never go back in time and hunt tigers. <laughs> the odds are stacked against you. All right, cool. New chapter here. We have access to slow-mo at this point. I made the first prototype when I was your age. I haven't had the heart to change the design. Uh, oh, prototype of the time machine? Cool. What's that this? portrait is my great uncle, Worthington Blunderbuss Quadrangle. He had a particular fondness for the enormous. Probably why he was so interested in Africa. Right, okay, so, um. I see a problem already. <laughs> I am too slow, so hopefully those respawn. I see an awkward noise machine over there. I definitely want to get that. Um. That's all I see, unfortunately, though. Nothing else back here, not that I can see at least. Ooh, can I go back to the... Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, that just drops you back down here. Nicely done. Awesome. <laughs> that was just a nice little waste of time right there. Oh, crap. No, no, I don't want those to blow up, I don't think. Actually, I have no way of stopping them from blow up, so it looks like I'm going to have to slowly watch them get disintegrated. There um... should be an IDS battery on the other side of the fan. Ah, there it is. Okay. Actually, wait a minute. I think... Let's see. These moved forward correctly, so if I... Yes, okay, it's right, so... Why is this one moving slower than all the other ones? Maybe, oh, is it because I'm on it and I'm heavier? Well, that's really interesting. See, it's the it's the small things like that in this game that really impressed me. Alright, um... Can I make this jump? I am not entirely sure. Let's go for it! Ah, make it, please, yes, thank you. <laughs> yes! Oh, look at that. And a nice little shortcut right here so I don't have to do anything to get back. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And where am I taking... Right here. Okay, cool. Sweet. Get in there. Oh, and now I can stop the lasers from burning up these guys. So I think I want to make a staircase like I did last time. Let's go ahead and do that. Timing is key here, people. Ah, oh, crap. I screwed that one up already, didn't I? Dang it. Actually, wait, no, I can still get across there. Let's just slow-mo to make it a little bit easier on myself. Oh, I can't get across this last one, though. Dang it. Which means I can't get the awkward noise machine. Unless I can somehow trick it out, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Nope. All right. This, this sort of puzzle got me last time, too. It took me three tries to get it last time. Hopefully, I can do this a little bit faster. We had a puzzle similar to this a few rooms back, for those of you who may or may not remember. But... Uh, we'll have to get through here together. So, safes. Heavy. Alright, break, 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 break. Don't break. Um, leave. Break, break. Actually, I don't even need to break the rest now because I can jump across. 
Sweet. All right, so I think I'm actually good at this point. I should be able to get across here perfectly fine and get my noise machine. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get back though. Dang it, all right. So I might have to do this again, actually, just to get to the door after I get the noise machine. It's like having your own personal zoo. Children like zoos, right? Dude, we totally love zoos. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get back up there. So I'm gonna do this again. Sweet, I love repetition. It's the key to learning. <laughs> All right, let's get it done this time. Oh, those sort of, oh, am I gonna have to use them as a bridge as they fall? That, that'll be interesting. I wonder actually if I could have just walked right up it as it was falling. That would've made a lot more sense. I probably don't even need to do this. I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh crap, I might've screwed this up. Actually, no, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, I could just do it just like this. Nicely done. All right, now let's get over there again. And we should be able to ride this all the way to the end, and provided we don't screw it up, we should make that jump to the door. Actually, I don't think we can jump there. I think we are going to have to ride it as it falls down. All right, let's slow-mo it. I don't trust this at all. I really don't. that falling could be such a peaceful experience? It is very peaceful, I have to say. All right, uh, go! Please make this. Thank you. Nicely done. Our time travels took us to feudal Japan, where they took a rather strong liking to Ike. I gotta I say... I hope introducing them to a small, cute, fluffy creature somehow didn't alter the present. <laughs> well... Oh, there's a ninja in this painting. You just can't see him. Oh, you're right. He's a good ninja then. But I gotta say, you actually do look rather, rather spiffy in your little samurai armor right there. <laughs> there's a ninja in the painting. What is this? Ike and I traveled back in time once to find the fabled lost city of gold. We never did find it. And to be honest, the lost cities of bronze and silver really weren't that impressive. Could have <laughs> been worse, I suppose. Yeah, you could have got stuck in limbo in another dimension, right? <laughs> See, I did a burn. All right. Let's get out of these hallways, man. I gotta say, I really like the dialogue in this game. It's actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. I'm laughing a few times here. Um... What is this? So... Oh, look, a new type of death. That's yellow death. Hooray! That's always fun. I've got to make my way over to that door somehow. Um, access to slow-mo and heavy. Not exactly sure what I have to do here. Okay, so I obviously... Actually... No... I think what I'm trying to do here is just grab these before they get activated really ought to stay out of their way. Yes, I will I will attempt to stay out of their way, that way I do not die. I think that's what I was trying to do, was just get these boxes and then place them here. And I believe that was it, so. Oh, crap, what are you doing? Um, I don't know what you are doing. I think I want to make it so this guy doesn't get pushed out of the way. So Keep I'm going to have to... That activation beam. Right, okay, that, that's exactly what I need to do. I need to make sure this guy gets all the way across without, like, uh, getting thrown off into, into oblivion. Get down here, box. Thank you. Get over there. Same with you. Get over there. Nice, okay. Keep going. Come on, you can make it. I believe in you. Stop it, stop it. Stop throwing boxes. I know it's your job, but I, I disapprove of this. And gimme. Yes, thank you. I'm gonna put you over here. Alright, come on. You can totally make it this time. I believe in you. I believe in you. There we go. Nicely done. Oh, crap. What do I need to do with this box? What do I need to do with this? Um, I need to get over there somehow, but how do I get on top of this guy? Do I stack up the boxes? I can't stand on these, though, remember? Oh, crap. Um... I'm just gonna have to hope that I can run up this while you're falling. Please don't let me down. Can I run up you? Oh, I really don't want to take this risk. Seems like the only logical option though, so let's go for it. Oh, I can. Okay, I can run up you. Nicely done. Nice. And go make the jump. Yes! Okay, cool. That was very interesting. I actually didn't know what to do there for a second. Oh, it's Ike! Hooray! Hey, little guy. Oh, I'm sorry. He seems so depressed after I take the batteries. I kind of feel bad. 
Oh, look at me now. I got three dimensions at the same time. Bam. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so. What do I actually want to do now? Um. Oh, right. I just need to get something to throw it over there. And then I should be able to get back, if I remember correctly. So we should be good, actually, if I bring this table down here. And throw it across. And I should be able to jump using slow-mo. And just get over there, actually. At least that's the, uh, the theory of things. So, let's- No! I thought I would be able to stand on that platform. <laughs> Apparently, I'm mistaken. You cannot- You cannot stand on platforms like that. Why am I using this particular table when I know there's another one down there? I don't actually know. Screw it, I'm gonna take this table now. Alright, I think this is what I want to do here. Now, I just have the problem of executing it. <laughs> That's the tough part. I just got to be kind of really quick about it. I think I might have thrown that one down too far. Yeah, I'm going to go get the other table. I don't like the way that's going. I don't trust myself there. Alright, I need to flip this one around, though. So, you could work with me here for a second. Maybe we could uh, get this done. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Hey! Eh, that almost worked. Yes, thank you. Yes, that actually worked out really well. Okay, cool. Alright, um... I'm gonna throw you. And jump! That's what I'm talking about. We got some table surfing up in here. And jump again. Please make that. Thank you. That was very close. I did not like that at all. Nicely done. There are clouds here. Have I mentioned that? No, but... Though, wait. Wait. Is that lint? Giant lint. Ugh. Ooh, look, books. Still haven't found a blueprint, actually. It's, it's not a good thing. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure we'll stumble across one eventually. A boost of confidence. Alright, but we are getting a little bit low on time, so I think I'm going to call the episode here. Once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.